for the record, just to give you an idea, I, I, I dropped the bridge when I came back before I left the house. I'm like, fuck, I don't want to be here for this on the podcast. And all the friends are like, oh, look at that, six pack of tall boys of Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> that, that almost equals a beer. It almost equals a beer. It's like having two of them. <laughs> I don't feel right. <laughs> I actually don't mind Coors, I think. Well, I mean, it's easy to drink. I mean, there's no getting around it. It doesn't really taste like beer. It's just carbonated flavored alcohol. Exactly. All right, let's try this. <laughs> Oh, that's not the right one. Damn it. Thursday. It's May the 30th, 2019, and I'm Eric. Talking at you as always from beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where if you take everything I say as gospel and believe every word I tell you every night on this show, well, you're going to end up a hell of a lot more misguided than I am. Or they might just realize how right you are and live righteously. That's the other possibility. It is. Um, how's everybody doing tonight? How's Gord? We're doing all right. It is a gorgeous night tonight. I am. It's like my dream weather right now. It is too here as well. It's comfortable. It is clear skies. It's a nice, cool breeze. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I'm just, I'm loving the weather right now. Yeah, it's definitely one of the kind of spring evenings that you want. I know we've got the exact same thing right now. It's just the perfect setting. That's why I tried to uh, do this outside for us. I don't know how well it's going to go, but we're trying figure it out um not a hell of a lot happening today that i know of nothing happened to me that's worth talking about i uh played on the computer and then i talked to you well done yeah that's, uh, yeah that's pretty much most of my day trying to come up with a new uh, animation suite uh that's a little easier to use so i can actually make a decent cartoon for us that's i don't know why i'm so obsessed with the idea of a cartoon for us but i am and it's gonna happen one way or another if I have to pay someone else to do it. God damn it! It's just friggin' awesome. That's all that matters. Um, but the robot cartoon is definitely, I, I think, worth pursuing because those guys are hilarious. Yes, I fucking love it. This is we are we you are onto something with this, and uh, this this new video is just uh, it is just a cat fucking five star ass man. It's fantastic. I don't know. Uh, what, what, why I came up with it, I don't remember, but I'm glad I did, because <laughs> I enjoy them just as much as everybody else, and I they're, they're just as uh, spontaneous to me as they are to everyone else. Like I, I never know what's going to happen until I, until it does. Well, it worked out, and they are a ton of fun, and I fucking love it. Well, thank you. I'm glad you think so. I'm uh, I don't know what's going on here. I'm trying to figure out the the sweet spot for the microphone on this computer. Anyway, not important. Uh, hello, world. How y'all doing? I hope you can hear Gord um, as well as I think you can. Um, we're, we're, I'm trying something new here with an outdoor setup because I thought that would be fun for the summer and lead right into our shower setup that we've been talking about forever and I haven't got around to doing. So, um, it's still an amazing idea. Oh, it definitely is. And um, we'll, we'll start working on that right away. But I do like the idea of being outside. That's how I started the show, and that's how I'd like to continue it. It also encourages more people walking by to stop and talk to me. That's very true. Which did actually happen before you were on the show, um, quite frequently. And then uh, you joined, and that stopped. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Listeners went up and interviews went right down. That's not exactly how it happened. It's just I started spending more time indoors and away from people. Because um, it was. We had someone more entertaining on the show again, finally. Um, okay. It was you. <laughs> but yeah, go go over to Facebook and check out the new uh, robots video. Uh, they still need a title too. They don't. I've never given them a title. Fuck a title. They don't need a title. Um, they 
standard on their own. But part two of the uh, two-part super dramatic cliffhanger will air tonight, uh, right after this podcast. Uh, so check it out and tell us what you think at ericandgord.com. Um, if you like them, they'll keep coming. And there's about it's probably six or seven. If you haven't seen them all, there you can look at them at, at uh, ericandgord.com. Uh, I don't think the whole collection's there, but there's quite a few to, to get you going. Or just look them up at YouTube. Look up Eric Hunt, and uh, and they're there. There's a whole bunch of them somewhere. Enjoy the living shit out of them. Uh, what, does one of them still have us doing the actual talking in it? No, but I do still have that. Um, I don't. I do enjoy that one. I don't think I posted it. I may. I may have. I don't remember if I did or not. But I still have the sound files for that, and I think. I think we're gonna end up ultimately. We're gonna have to do them all. Oh yeah, probably. Because uh, pe- the 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 public will demand it eventually. Because they're just that good. Um, what's going on in the world? Uh, Robert Mueller is done. Oh my god, we have to talk about that. Yeah, just a little bit, right? <laughs> oh my god. That is, that is by far the greatest fucking thing I think I've ever seen in anything that's ever happened in media so far. <laughs> like, the guy is legit coming forward and been like, yeah, there's nothing. And yet, the, li- the, li- the Democrats, whatever you want to fucking call them, they are actually turning around and being like, that's not good enough. That's not good impeach enough. Impeach him anyways, and here's all the reason we need to impeach him. Look, if this guy's fucking 10 trillion fucking word fucking documents couldn't come up with a fucking solid reason to actually impeach the man, no. it's not going to happen. No. Stop. Although someone did say they were optimistic that it did sound similar to what got Clinton impeached. Like it, it, it sounded like there were similar grounds to that. I'm just like, come on, you guys. Like, just stop. Give it up. Like, just stop. I think that's what they're all hung up and on. You can't. They can't sit there and say that he's the worst president in history because he's not. His look, his approval rating has proven that. Some of his numbers, a lot of his numbers, have proven that. Um, he just did. Uh, fuck. I wanted to bring this thing up and I forgot. What the fuck it was. But he just passed a bill. Oh, he just passed a bill. That's been going through Congress for years, but nobody's ever wanted to pass anything because uh, for basically what it is, it's for um, it's to make it easier to find and shut down uh, sex rings through uh, through websites. Oh yeah. And one of the things that was holding it back for years was the fact that he owned them all. They, <laughs> well, there's probably that. Uh, but uh, one of the things that's holding it up for so long was the fact that um, uh, they they didn't allow any outside, basically, evidence to, to bring these things to light. Right. One of the parts of this bill that Trump's introduced is to actually, if anybody that is, like any woman or child or man, any person who has been like, part of the sex trade that was like actually forced into it, if they can turn around and point to a website and say that's the fucking site that, that's doing it, the government can go in, not just shut them down, but fucking levy fucking fines and throw people in jail and just fuck things right up. Which doesn't make sense that they can't do that now, but... Yeah, like, I mean, how fucking weird is that? Like, why would you put that... Why would you put a restriction? And the whole... Well, I mean, the reason for the restriction was because they thought that it might infringe upon... Um, the rights of free speech, and there's some media rights that he that Trump's uh, now put a restriction on, which is uh, the right to. Oh, oh, I remember. Uh, companies that own a domain where other people can advertise on that site. Yeah. They are not. For the longest time, they've never been required by law at all to um, to check their sources to be responsible for who they allow to advertise on their site. No, I thought that changed uh, with Craigslist. When when Craigslist, when they tried to get dirty whores off Craigslist. Um, um, and I thought that may have only been in Canada that that changed though. That was, yeah, that was only up here. As far as I know, that was not the state. The state, they never allowed it. Trump's new bill allows that now. He's actually making the companies responsible 
So it's not only do the people of the website get fucked, but also the whoever's hosting it. that are that are hosting it. Yeah, of course. Get charged. Well, that it makes sense, you know, in a in a way. I'm sorry, big companies, but it does. Like if if our if SiteGround, who is our host, um, if we were doing something terrible, uh, I I wouldn't want them to let it go, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I, well, but then again, you really get into a free, free, uh, sort of a freedom of expression problem there. No, bullshit. No, you don't. Think Which about that. we're going to talk you about work later. For a company. You work for a company, right? While you're working for that company, you go out and you, um, using the company's property, you're running a child pornography ring using company software and on company fucking, like, company software on company computers. And you're running all this fucking illegal fucking child pornography shit. Right. Yeah. No, it makes sense. The company should want to be like, holy fuck, that's what these guys have been doing? Sorry, man, we never looked into it. Fuck these guys, we're fucking dropping it, we're doing this whole fucking let whoever finds whatever we want to do. They should be openly willing and saying, yeah, fuck this, I'm good with it. Any company that doesn't, those are the ones that are being complicit with it and knowing. But how far how far do you let the government dig into your shit when when and start investigating people that aren't doing stuff like that? You allow the government to investigate any business it wants that has access to multiple domains for the for, for, for the public. Okay. Absolutely. Home computers? No, you need a search warrant. This is home. This is private. Those are company computers. That is part of a multinational thing. That's part of a huge conglomerate. They need to be held responsible for what they do, what they host, and what they allow to be a part of their website. But then again, you you, you start going down the slippery slope there. When when what, maybe what we allow now is acceptable, but what happens when the government says it's not? And then all of a sudden, you and I are being shut down because they're threatening our company because they don't like what Eric and Gord says about them. Liking what somebody says is not the issue. Yeah, but when the, the government can make it the issue, as soon as you open that door to them. Yeah, but by the time that starts happening, it's revolution time anyway. You need to enact something that's going to protect victims from having a place where they, where if they are taken, that they don't have a site that can publicize them that's done through a popular conglomerate run. You need to protect that. You need to stop that from happening. You have to. You can't just say, no, 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 because somebody might be able to take this later on. You know what? Fuck you. It's written right in the Constitution about freedom of expression and freedom of rights. That's all part of you. That's all part of that. Well, that's right. So if I'm expressing... For child pornography, detected, um, um, kidnapping somebody, drugging them and forcing them into a sex trade, that is not protected under the Constitution anywhere for any reason. But if I just Anything advertise it. Defend it, fuck you, you're just as bad as they are. But all I'm doing is advertising it. I'm not really doing anything wrong. Yes, you are. You're advertising it. You are promoting it. Well, I don't know what that's I'm promoting. Worse, that's worse than anything. I have no idea you're what I'm promoting. it out there, huh? I have no idea what I'm promoting. I just give these people a platform to do it on. I don't, I don't say what they do or don't do on my platform. It's not up to me to say that. I guarantee you, if our podcast was based purely on racism, if we just sat there and said, you know, uh, throw out the N-word and, and talk about how we hate this one particular race, but from center, we'd be dropped. Well, I, I have said time and time again, I'm not particularly fond of white people. Well, yeah, but we're, you're a lot, that's not racist, it's not racist being against white people. We already, we already know that, that's that point. <laughs> but seriously though like I mean in all sense of seriousness well, we are I mean like Apple has like look what, look what Apple Apple will fucking judge you on everything that your content and what comes out I'm wondering if that's the reason we're not on them actually I just there I just there was someone on Facebook complaining about being kicked off because they were promoting marijuana the other day that wouldn't surprise me they have a podcast about and not just marijuana they just have a podcast about drug use uh, it's not even in English um, so they're wondering how, like, um, this is strange, but yeah, Apple, Apple's a tough one, and good on him, I guess, I'm, I'm obviously just disagreeing with Gord, uh, to, to be a dick, um, 
I couldn't agree more. I, I think it's ridiculous when uh, we talk.